Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do some Elvis and Christmas. We 
something else in here and there and now and there, but the some Elvis Christmas songs and some other things, and right now I'm going to kind of jump off the Christmas song and just let you know that Elvis broke through a lot of barriers, right? And in 1957, he received from his fans 282 of these items for Christmas. Even though the movie wasn't coming out until the next year, which you know, wasn't that very long, but it was basically, the movie was called Loving You, 
And Elvis told all of stands, I, I took all your stuff and I, I put them all, all over all over the house. All right? So he put them all over the house, and these are what he had 282 of that day in 57. <laughs> I don't want to be a tiger Cause I don't play too rough I don't want to be a lion Cause lions ain't the kind of love enough Oh, 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 baby, let me be around you every night. Run your fingers through my head because I'm even tired of letting you be. Oh, baby, oh, I don't want to be a child. You got no way to run. Don't want to be a lion. Cause I am the kind of love Put a chain around it, baby. Put up the left feet. No, put a little bit up. Oh, put that left feet. He got those. 57 was an incredibly humongous year for Mr. Elvis Aaron Presley. And actually what he did was then after the holidays, after Christmas, he sent thousands of teddy bears to be donated to infantile paralysis to prevent that. So Elvis was very, very, very generous as a man of God and infantile paralysis. All the teddy bears, they said thousands that he sent. So, you know, if you can do good things, do them, do them, do them, do them, do them, do them. All right? And who knows? You know, a long time ago, man, before video games, puppets were a big deal. Puppets. Remember puppets? <laughs>
do most anything sing this song with me. Silver bell, silver bell, it's Christmas time in the city. It's 
Christmas time in the city. So now, I want to sing a song that most of you, if not all of you, are guilty of for Christmas. It's true. I know it's true. And some of you out there are looking at your children and your grandchildren and your nieces and your nephews, your, maybe your husbands and your wives or your spouses or whatever, and you're saying, don't do that very thing. song that everybody does before Christmas when no one's looking then on Christmas morning when everybody's looking alright now it was right there and now you're wondering what could that song be I found it so again cut people breaks for the things that you've done this is what you all have done all of you with your presence, with your presence. Christmas is so cool because everybody is jolly and happy, right? Uh, it's just the season. So no matter what the season this year, 2020, 2020, 2020, seems to be, don't let it take away your joy or the joy of Christmas, right? Go out there, man, and make your family happy and make the people happy and sing, right? I mean, did you know that Elvis Presley himself 
which secretly, with a couple guys, his little Memphis Mafia, they would actually, on their motorcycles during Christmas Eve, just go out and sing a song or two at people's houses, and they wouldn't announce it. They'd just come sing, and then they'd leave. And they'd go, that was, that was Elvis, right? Can you imagine? You can do the same thing, right? You get the whole last thing, whatever, whatever that works out. I don't know, man. Just, just go do that. Spread joy and good tidings, man. And this kind of thing right here, this next song, you can sing. Now, Elvis was a, a gospel, man of the gospel, loved, loved to glorify God. And this song here is about that, so you know it. So please sing along. The first Noel, the angels did say, was to serve. Later on, we'll 
is one of my favorite Elvis songs right here, coming up. Here comes the country lover, here comes the country lover, right down Santa Claus Lane. Big sun blazing, all his rain came and the boy in a home ring. Bells are ringing, children singing, all his men are being right. Hang your stockings and say your prayer, oh, I'm going to go tonight. Here comes the country lover, here comes the country lover, right down Santa Claus And just let you know, right here, I'm going to go, I'll go this way. I'll go this way. I have my bride and I. That's my family, son, Barry, and myself and my bride, Lisa, and daughter, John. And then I got you guys little teddy bears, right? Now, down here we have a nativity scene, right there. And right here, I don't know if you see this guy, but that's a rhino. That's my, my baby's rhino that's traveling with me all over the country. And then, of course, you'll see more of these, but little rock hearts you find everywhere. God, God knows why. I don't know why. <laughs> and then, just to just give the, the group that are, you know, Santa and Mrs. Claus, Santa's hat, you know, he lets me borrow. And then on here is something very, very special for a friend of mine. You know, you never know what people go through, you know, and Christmas times and holiday seasons, and a lot of you have gone through so much. Uh, when a friend of mine gave me this, and, and I could hold it up to you, I bet it'll be backwards and read backwards. I don't want to do that. But it's a little memory bracelet for his son who went to the Lord way too early, uh, Charlie Jr. And, uh, you know, so represent him. Uh, and I know that a lot of you are going through so much stuff and so much loss. And, you know, 10th Christmas without the loved one, 30th, 43rd, six months, three months, whatever the case may be, it's still. Missing them. So keep those people in your thoughts and prayers. And if you are one of those people, know that God is faithful. And uh, and your job here is to represent, man. Represent that love that you that you felt. Alright? Now, just speaking about that, did you know that Elvis had a Christmas movie? Huh? You're like, no, he didn't. I got all those Elvis people out there. I know, I know, I know, I know you. I know right now you're going, he did not, he did not. I know all 33 movies. I know. I know what you're saying, but he did. On November 22nd, 1961, November 22nd, that basically is a month before Christmas, which is a Christmas release, this movie came out. So technically, it is a Christmas movie, and it's considered Elvis' Christmas movie, but it will blow your mind. But this is the movie, released November 22nd. In 1961. You know, it would be helpful if I had these in order, you know, but this is the song right here. The movie. Christmas movie. <laughs>
so are we, so are we. So basically five weeks, Elvis' Blue Hawaii movie raised enough to take number 10. And then the next year it took number 14 because it already had been out and, and all that kind of stuff. But there is a lot of great songs on that album, on that Christmas album. And uh, this especially is one. Story. 
Uh, there's a couple stories coming up, but this one here, all right. So there's a movie that came out, uh, and the part two is well, the second one. The sequel's coming out this year, all right. And the guy that's playing the lead character in this Christmas movie um, played in an Elvis movie when he was a child. Okay, the movie he played in was it happened at the World's Fair. This young boy actor. Okay, and then the boy grew up and. No, you, you know him, you know him, you've seen him, huge in Disney, huge in everywhere. And then he had an opportunity to perform as Elvis for a movie on television, which is Elvis, okay? So this cat was in an Elvis movie as a child, right? And then he performed as Elvis, he did a whole Elvis movie about Elvis's life on television, movie, all right? And then last year, this guy came out as Santa Claus in this great movie. If you haven't seen it, honest to God, you got to see this movie. He is the coolest Santa Claus. And he got arrested. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but I have to do that to tell you the show. He got arrested, but he's Santa Claus, right? And he's in the jail. All right? And he sings a song with the jail guys. Right? Not Jailhouse Rock, but he sings this song. Now, what's really cool is... This kid did a movie with Elvis, then he was Elvis in a movie, and then he did an Elvis song in jail last year. The movie's called Christmas Chronicles. The actor that sang the song, this song right here, Mr. and I love him, Kurt Russell. And this is the song he sang. Go see it. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Well, it's Christmas time for the baby. Christmas. And it's now it's one round. See me coming in a big black Cadillac Well, Christmas time for me, baby Christmas And the snow is on the ground Christmas Now you be a real good little baby girl Santa Claus is like a dog Christmas 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 Chronicles. It came out last year on Netflix, and this year it's coming out again, part two, or the sequel, and Kurt Russell's wife is in it. His, well, his longtime 
30, 40, 50 year, whatever, partnership, Lady Goldie Hawn is in the movie, right? So, Kurt Russell, boy, that guy, that guy's cool. And um, you'll love this show, and the jailhouse scene is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal, I, I absolutely love it, I absolutely love it. And Elvis did this song, I, I don't know that I can actually do exactly what Elvis did, and, and I, you know, I, Elvis was Elvis, so, so I'm just gonna do this song the way I sing it, and uh, in memory of everybody and Elvis, and then hopefully all of you get to do this, because this is something that um, is a big deal. <laughs> sing them along. That's the whole thing, right? Is to sing and, and enjoy it and, and, and enjoy one another. Uh, also, ladies and gentlemen, um, there's a lot of people going through a lot of tough times, a lot of people going through some pretty scary and anxiety-filled times because that's just the times. And, and the angels did say, fear not. Um, and absolutely, fear not because love works. But I, there's no but as far as it not working. Yet, people still, you know, are bombarded and with, with, with all sorts of situations. So it's up to you and, and, and I and people like us to reach out to those people and, and just comfort them, okay? Because Christ came to comfort us and that's our job. So it is Christmas. So if you know people that are lonely, and I understand, man, I, I, I'm, I'm in the same world as you are. <laughs> you can't go here, you can't go that, and they're locking this down, they're locking that down, and you can't go here, you can't visit, all that kind of stuff. I got it. But while you can go, 
You know, be smart, right? But reach out. Find some way to let people not be lonely and let them know the meaning of Christmas is, is, is not about fear. The meaning of Christmas is overcoming fear and having eternal life through Christ who came on that day. And we could go into it on the, come, come Sunday, we'll go more into it. But the thing is, you know people, please reach out to them. This is the season. And honest to God, man, if there's a guy and he, <laughs> he sent some muffins, some pecan muffins, Jim, oh my God, they were, they were knocked out. But if you guys make things, send them to people, man. Because there are also people that are also hurting financially. So, so help them out with food or whatever, whatever you can do. Just be, be the spirit of Christmas, which is love, right? I'm going to save a couple other surprises for the next Elvis show. One of them is going to blow your mind, uh, but we'll wait on that. We're going to do one more song for you. Thank you so much for coming. And, and uh, again, rejoice, 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 and give thanks. Because you are a living person. And you get to breathe and share. So go do that. And be yourself. And love people. Help sing the song with me, if you will. And thank you for being here.